Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers, and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor, Yeti. The believer's secret of the abiding presence, our devotional coming together, and we are in chapter 9. Mary, the morning watch. Jesus said to her, Mary, She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabuni, which means teacher, John 20, 16. Here we have the first manifestation of the risen Savior when he appeared to Mary Magdalene, the woman who loved much. Think of what the morning watch meant to Mary. The morning watch proves an intense longing of love that will not rest until it has found the Lord it seeks. In her longing to find Christ, she separated herself from all else even from the chief of the apostles. She struggled against fear with a faith that refused to let go until it received his wonderful promise. Her morning watch resulted in Christ's coming and fulfilling the promise. If anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. John 14, 23 Her love was met by the love of Jesus, and she found him, the living Lord, in all the power of his resurrection life. She now understood what he had said about ascending to the Father, to the life of divine and omnipotent glory. In her morning watch, she received the commission from her Lord to go and tell her brothers and sisters of what she had heard from him. That first morning watch, waiting for the risen Lord to reveal himself, is a prophecy and a pledge of what the morning watch has been to thousands of people in fear and doubt and yet with a burning love and strong hope they have waited for him then he of whom they had known very little because of their feeble human apprehension he brought it upon them in the power of his resurrection His resurrection life manifested himself as the glory, the Lord of glory. There, they have learned not in words or thought, but in the reality of a divine experience, what it means to be taken up in the keeping of his abiding presence, into the presence of the one to whom all power has been given on earth and in heaven. And what are we to learn? That nothing can prove a greater attraction to our Lord than the love that sacrifices everything and rests satisfied with nothing less than knowing Him and His abiding presence. To this type of love, Christ will manifest Himself. He loved us and Give himself for us. Christ wants our love so he can reveal his love. To our love he speaks the word. And surely I will be with you always. True love accepts, rejoices in, and lives in his word. The practice of the presence of God. 
if you want to accustom yourself to a continued conversation with Christ, with freedom and simplicity, you must begin in one hearty renunciation of everything which you know, which you now does not lead to God. You only need to recognize God intimately present with you to address yourself to Him every moment. You may ask for His assistance in knowing His will in things that are doubtful and for rightly performing those duties which you plainly see He requires of you. God always gives us light in our doubts when we have no other design but to please Him. Offer to Him everything you do and thank Him for everything you have done when completed. In your conversations with God, praise Him, adore Him, and love Him without ceasing because of His infinite goodness and perfection. Do not be discouraged on account of your sins, but pray for His grace with a perfect confidence in our Lord Jesus Christ. God never fails to offer you His grace in every action, and you will distinctly perceive it unless your thoughts have wandered from a sense of God's presence or you have forgotten to ask for His assistance. Your sanctification does not depend upon changing your works, but in doing for God's sake what you commonly do for your own. Do not confuse the means with the end. Do not become addicted to works performing with selfish regards. Come with me in my prayer moment. Dear Jesus, thank you for talking to Mary in the morning. Watch. <coughs> I know that you did because the Bible is true. But Lord, strengthen my faith in you and in the everyday application of your word so that I may be encouraged to come seeking you in the morning in the morning watch and through seeking you in love with a desire to obey and find you. Amen. When I was reflecting as when I was speaking to you all, all the help that he offers us, it's only love. Even when we fail, He will not be unfaithful to us. And Mary knew exactly what it was to receive the love of Christ. For her, she had a strong longing, and that's why she was searching for her, her Lord. And we know when she was there in the garden looking for him and crying. My beloved ones, sometimes we are in our garden too, looking for Christ, crying and things we don't understand and having a longing that sometimes we even don't understand too. But we know that deep inside of us there is a 
a deep longing, a deep desire to come so close to our Christ. And sometimes we want to be alone. Alone in that quiet moment, even walking in our garden. And I'm talking about the spiritual garden. Because sometimes there is loneliness, there is fear, there is anxiety, there is joy, there is happiness. All is there. That's coming our morning watch. Well, we have our resurrected Christ. She saw her teacher and she cried out, Rabuni. And we can do exactly the same. Rabuni. Come closer. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. Enjoy your weekend. Everything that comes to you, consider. Everything you touch, love it embrace because Christ is exactly the same and still do he embraces you blessings to all of you my dear ones this is your pastor Yeti. I love you guys we will hear each other again on Monday okay bye bye